Hey guys, how's it going? All right. I'm Peter. I'm a married man. I've got a wife and kids. I got two of them. Uh, kids, not wife. Thank you. You gotta childproof everything when you have kids. You know, you gotta be safe. So I childproof my cabinets. I think I did a pretty good job because they haven't been able to get out yet. So I think they're pretty safe. They don't care. It's not like they care. They'd have their iPads in there. They'd be fine. When I was a kid, I didn't have entertainment like they do. I was literally only allowed to watch Disney movies. Can you believe that? Tarzan and Bambi and Lilo and Stitch. I watched them a million times. I used to want to live inside of one of those Disney movies. And not because of the magic. I just wanted my parents dead. Because <laughs> my parents were dead, then I could watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre like a normal kid, you know? I don't blame them, it's hard to raise kids. I, uh, my daughter kissed a boy on the cheek at school, I found out that. The principal called about the sexual assault. <laughs> and she kissed a boy during COVID, so she was also up for attempted murder. It's a lot, it's a lot for a five year old. So I let my wife handle it. She's good with the discipline. Kids don't listen to me, they always twist my words. Like I told my daughter, no kissing boys, okay? Only daddy. She goes, only daddy can kiss boys? <laughs> no. Mommy taught you not to kiss boys too? Uh, you're missing the point. The point, is, the point is that you're twisting my words and making me forget my point. <laughs> Did mommy teach you how to do that? You're both pretty good at that. You know what? Yes. Only daddy can kiss boys. That's it. That's a new rule. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to, how to raise kids. I can barely take care of myself. You know, I try to stay healthy. I eat pretty good. Although it's funny, if I eat really good all week on Saturday, I'll have like a spoonful of heroin. It's my cheat day. It's a joke. It's a joke. I don't try to eat healthy. <laughs> I, um, no, my real vice is TV. I love watching those murder shows, you know, like Dateline. My wife likes those. It's a great show. My wife is always watching, like, whatever version of The Bachelor is on. I'm like, why do you watch this shit? She goes, I'm getting ready for my new boyfriend. Why do you watch those murder shows? You know, I'm getting ready for your new boyfriend. In this episode, I'm learning how to force him to smoke meth so he has the energy to dig his own grave. <laughs> Pretty genius if you think of it. She's got a really great sense of humor, my wife. <clears throat> One time though, I insulted her with a joke and she punched me in the face. <laughs> yeah, it's a true story. But um, she, uh, yeah, she punched me in the face, but she's, it's whatever, I deserved it, but she's dangerous because she does karate when she drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Like she didn't take classes or anything, but she is a third degree blackout. So. She doesn't remember it. No, that's not even the joke she hit me for, okay? It's a lot worse. She, uh, here's what happened. She was reading a book, you know, about a guy who was paralyzed from the neck down. It's like a really sad story. A couple glasses of wine, a couple hundred pages in. She comes to me with, you know, emotions. But I don't, I don't know anything about it. I don't know, I didn't even know she was reading the book. So she comes to me, and she's like, hey, if I was paralyzed, would you still love me? I'm like, yeah, yeah, what, what are we talking about? What do, you, what do you mean? She's like, well, you'd have to feed me, you know, bathe me, dress me, nothing would be the same. I'm like, sex would be the same. <laughs> and that's how I got this scar. <laughs> now, in my defense, I thought it was obvious, you know, the sex wouldn't be the same. For real, like if her whole body was suddenly limp, It'd be a lot more anal. <laughs> no, I think we would embrace it. We would really embrace it. You know, if, if she was paralyzed, we would embrace it. We would, uh, we'd probably come up with some new sex moves, you know? Some new, we get to name them cool names, you know, like, like the Ragdoll Rodeo, you know? Or like, the wheelbarrow with a flat tire. Weekend at Bernie. <laughs> uh, we would make it work because that's what marriage is all about. All right, you guys are great. Thank you.